I mean, this is the same guy who called Cher Terry beautiful when she was sitting there starving to death. No, that's, I... That's <laughs> I hear you. I appreciate your call, George. Let's talk to Sherry in Texas. Sherry, you're on the air. Yes. Um, hi, Alex. Hi. Hi. Um, I just wanted to let you know, um, according to this um, this document I have, um, it's uh, the image archive on the American eugenics movement. Um, yes. By, 19, by 1917, Congress had expanded the legal definition of those, quote, likely to become a public charge, include all idiots, imbeciles, feeble-minded persons, epileptic insane persons, persons of constitutional psychopathic inferiority, and mentally or physically defective. Now, I mean, that's pretty, you know, subjective, I would say. Well, let me just stop you, ma'am. That's public eugenics. 34 states, you know, all covered in Endgame, 34 states passed laws. They sterilized hundreds of thousands per decade that we know of. They would kill babies. Uh, uh, they would take women. Uh, who made below B pluses and sterilized them. And we even have the official report cards. They would have yep. good race uh, contest. And then Hitler picked up on all this from the U.S. and England. And the Rockefellers funded the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Germany. Uh, they funded the Cold Springs Harbor facility, now run by IBM and the human genome. The head of the genome had to step down two years ago when he said blacks weren't human uh, uh, at IBM. And, of course, that was covered in Endgame before he had to step down. So, you know, we're uh, ahead of the curb here. But the issue is they tell the general public, oh, we're only killing the blacks, the Mexicans, and the stupid whites, which is bad enough. But for racists, they need to know, no, they advertise it as positive and negative eugenics. We're going to breed the elite to live longer, be smarter, be better looking, be healthier. But we're also going to then sterilize and exterminate and force abort and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, by the way, is in the Associated Press saying we got to keep abortion to get rid of the stupid people. So this is very liberal and loving. And like Margaret Sanger saying blacks or subhumans need to be killed. Most, you know, many black uh, public schools, the one I went to in Dallas was named Margaret Sanger Elementary. So it's about worshiping those that murder you. It's so liberal and loving. Again, a, a real Nazi doesn't wear a Nazi uniform. They come with a ponytail and Birkenstocks and go, hi, I'm liberal. Oh, I have a shot. Oh, yeah. See, that's how this, I'm, I'm serious, folks. It's so sickening. It, I mean, it's hard to stay calm when you talk about this, but they advertise positive and negative eugenics. That's not even eugenics. Real eugenics is about targeting the intelligent. Tar because they say, well, we're going to have rogue, intelligent Northern Europeans and Jews and some Japanese. I don't agree with this. This is their view. And so we've got to recruit a few of them, but dumb down and sterilize the rest. We're going to do that with sodium fluoride, heavy metals in the water, uh, chemical weapons, uh, chemtrail spraying, and, and, and they say it. So the point is they're hitting everybody, and their main target is Northern Europeans. And this is actually being run by Northern Europeans. You understand, ma'am? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What do you think of that? I, I think it's horrible. I think it's, 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 whenever I read that, I was, I was just so horrified I couldn't even answer for a while on the, on the forum. I'm a moderator for the eugenics section, and I just, I, I couldn't even believe what I was reading because he's, he's the head of, of the science for the entire country, isn't he? Yes, and he still says. Yeah. He still says sterilize women forcibly. We need, we need eugenics police that, that, that come and murder your babies. Pardon me? He wrote that a long time ago, right? Because he wrote it in 77, but he's the head of the green carbon tax, and he says it's so you'll have less children. They're, they're, they're now implementing it. California is getting rid of the tax credit when you have a family or are married. See, and next it'll be like China started in 1975 with a, a, a tax to have kids. Australia is now proposing, and I appreciate your call. Good to hear from you, Sherry. They are now proposing a tax. In fact, people won't believe that. Google it for them right now. Search engine in Australia. Tax children for carbon footprint or children bad for carbon footprint. Show, see, folks, none of this is my opinion. I couldn't make stuff up like this. And the reason I'm so freaked out today is I already have hundreds of their documents and textbooks, but They'll put a piece here or put a piece there. Or I'll have a government document about them putting stuff in the water to sterilize us. 
Or I'll have them on CNBC saying we ought to put stuff in the water to sterilize people, or we ought to put Prozac in the water. And now they've been caught doing it. It's that it's all in this textbook how to do it for world government. This is a policy textbook for continual education for university heads. And there, there's university heads listening everywhere. They get off on this power. They're like, well, we have to do it for the earth. But that's a mid-level compartmentalization. At the top, it's all about control and power and controlling the future. The New World Order beast is genetically modifying your food, mixing vegetables with animals, and now experimenting with viruses. Without a long-term long food solution, you will have just two options. Starve surrender. or surrender. surrender. All, canned food All canned food supplies will eventually run out. What then? then? Grow your own healthy food and feed your family forever. SurvivalistSeeds.com is now the nation's largest bulk heirloom seed company. And it's owned by a real patriot, Big John Lipscomb. You can now, you can have, now have an infinite amount of healthy vegetables like a watermelon, a bundle of carrots, or tomatoes for a little more than a penny each. SurvivalistSeeds.com. And now you can go into business with Big John at SurvivalistSeeds.com by becoming an affiliate. See his link at SurvivalistSeeds.com. search engine Bertrand Russell or Julian Huxley and planetary government eugenics they're going yes it's sad but we have to kill everybody I'm gonna have Aaron Dyson here next uh, segment to read a few of those quotes but when I tell you they're proposing a baby tax in the US England Canada Australia Europe pretty much everywhere the banks control things because the banks are the eugenicists so they set the policy in the big international banks baby tax needed to save planet claims expert and so I just told the guys, I said, Google search tax on babies, carbon tax. And there it is on screen for you. That's the news of Australia, news.com. Now, I could go on for hours, folks. If you're a new listener and you're going, what's this guy talking about? The, the shadow government that since 1947 has operated in total secrecy admits in its own textbooks and documents, hundreds and hundreds I have from the U.S. government alone, that they're putting poisons in your water. When you hear the term fluoride in your water that is a uh, by federal law a cover name for over 200 chemicals lead mercury arsenic sodium fluoride and these are the best chemicals they found to sterilize people and hence we do have the sterilization and i have government documents where russell and others talk about how they want to sterilize us with fluoride in the water i have the university of texas at austin in the 30s 1934 fluoride study about how it's a great overall drug because it sterilizes and dumbs you down and makes you docile. Pulitzer Prize winning books from World War II. One of them gets into how they use it in the death camps. You are being given death camp Kool-Aid. But that's not me. That's Obama's science advisor. I mean, go read the book he wrote, the government textbook. The policy level report, ladies and gentlemen. Get past the denial. In fact, I'm going to Put that on screen for folks at prisonplanet.tv so they can see it for themselves. Eco science, population, resources, environment. Go read where he pushes and talks about how they got to have forced abortions and forced sterilization and put stuff in the water to, to uh, sterilize you. Oh, and the cancer viruses and the vaccine. Let's go ahead and talk to Ray in Colorado. Ray, you're on the air. This week, Deutsche Welle, the German news site, had a mini documentary shot by their social welfare, social welfare people, and it showed a pregnant 30-something woman who had eight children who was on the government dole, and their premise was because she was unrestricting her reproduction that they had a right to go in and stop it because they were providing everything for her. And, of course, they showed her as making poor choices here and there, and I think they did it on purpose because most people... Oh, no, they admit it. Ma'am, ma'am, that's the, exactly right. That was in my list of points I wanted to make. I'm glad you brought it up. Is that they, they admit in their internal documents, we've got to socially educate the public, use examples of bad parents with lots of kids, that's set right. the precedent to take their kids with CPS, to then set up a society where all children are basically raised by the state, where the kids are at 
you know, government controlled schools even after hours, 12, 15 hours a day, only sleep at home during the next phase. Then the next phase, we fully take the kids away. This is incremental domestication. China already has that model. They adopted for IMF and World Bank money these rules in 1981. And yes, ma'am, we are now under those. And I have an AP article I was trying to dig out with Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Here it is. Justice Ginsburg says she originally thought Roe v. Wade was designed to limit populations that we don't want to have too many of, like blacks and Mexicans. Isn't that nice? Here, zoom in on her. Now, again, this is liberal. I mean, ma'am, you're a racist if you want the blacks breeding, okay? You've got to become liberal. Oh, it's so liberal.